All right, with me now in the hood, our distinguished engineer, Larry Heck of Microsoft Research and general manager at Bing Experiences, Mike Calcagno. And they're going to tell us all about the research that's going into Cortana, the new personal assistant for Windows Phone 8.1. Larry, Mike, thanks for being here. Sure, yeah, thanks. This is going to be fun. And I don't want to get off on the wrong foot, but uh, there's already some other popular, popular personal assistant phones uh, out there. Uh, there's the one that Surrey, I think people have heard of, the less chatty sibling, Google. Now, um, what makes, and this is what everybody's going to be wondering, what makes Cortana different, better than her counterparts? Yeah, well, I'll take that. I think, you know, the, the, fir the first thing that we, you know, set out to do was really, you know, we, we didn't overly focus on, you know, products that were already in the market. I think Google Now, Siri, they're actually excellent products. They're useful, right? Our goal was really to, you know, build something useful ourselves, mm -hmm. right? It's like, you know, I don't think we set out with a with a goal in building Cortana to, you know, knock off Siri or knock off Google Now. Our goal was really to make the phone better, mm -hmm. right? So I think there's, you know, insofar that they do interesting things, I think there's some natural overlap in terms of like, sure. you know, what we think an assistant should do. Um, I do think we made some different choices in terms of, you know, what we envisioned assistant to be, right? What we where we wanted the assistant to go, and some of the, you know, kind of design choices we made around, around how. Uh, how we actually realized her on the phone. Um, the biggest difference I would say, it's like if you look at the you know, kind of space together is that we've really modeled Cortana after the interaction model that we've developed with Cortana really is that of a, it's a real assistant, right? We use as a North Star, you know, the metaphor of having a real assistant, right? A competent, personal, professional assistant sure. that you could use and count on to get through your day, right? And so things like the notebook, right? Things like, you know, what the assistant can do right away for you, mm -hmm. right? The, um, the ability to, of the assistant to confirm with you, right? You know, where she should start, where she should stop, what she should know, right? We really think that, you know, that's a, it's a design choice that we made early on that will, you know, not only I think does it differentiate what we, what we have in the market now, but I think it'll also cause the assistant to kind of like take its own course, right? As we, sure. as we develop it over time. Absolutely, and obviously we saw some of Cortana on display this morning during the opening keynote, and uh, it, it's fascinating to see where, where, where it's going and what all of this is doing. Let's talk about the research that's gone into realizing uh, the Cortana advantages, as we're calling it. Uh, Larry, what can you tell us about the speech recognition research that Cortana utilizes? Yeah, so the speech recognition research that's been done uh, here and at other places has been evolving uh, gradually over time. Um, 20 years of uh, investment at Microsoft, Microsoft Research on speech recognition. And a lot of the uh, advances uh, in speech recognition has been due to uh, data and, and figuring out how to get uh, data fed back into, uh, into the uh, systems. And uh, this is all based on teaching the computer how to recognize speech by giving it examples, uh, so-called machine learning. Uh, so that's been a big foundation for many years in speech recognition. It's, it's, that kind of technology is also being now used in other components that, that you need to pull off something like, mm -hmm. uh, like uh, Cortana. That, uh, speech recognition is only one of those uh, pieces. You know, uh, as you recognize speech, uh, you have to then uh, understand what the person is talking about. And so for that, natural language understanding uh, is another component that sits on top of the speech recognizer. Uh, then you have to figure out what you want to do with it, uh, whether if the person's asking you for uh, directions, uh, Cortana has to decide, okay, well, you know, this is relevant information about directions. I want to give that, you know, show a map, mm -hmm. uh, for example. And that's um, taken care of in the dialogue manager component. And then there may be some um, speech output back to the user to, to say, okay, these are the directions to the, you know, closest Starbucks to you. So there's a text-to-speech synthesis as well. So there's all these different technologies that sit with speech recognition uh, that are required to pull off something like Cortana. And you need to have investments uh, in research in all of those mm -hmm. uh, for many years to kind of pull that off. And so how, you know, for folks watching, how is this speech recognition different from the powers that other personal assistants are using? Well, I, th I think a lot of, uh, like I say, a lot of uh, advancement speech recognition is depending on the data and how much data you have. Uh, that's fed back into the system and the quality of data that you have fed back. And, um, you know, the amount of data that we're getting uh, right now that we're pulling back, uh, particularly from uh, Bing search, voice search, uh, is tremendous. Um, mm -hmm. And, you know, we, we're ex extending uh, speech recognition capabilities also into uh, Skype and uh, the Skype translator. 
uh, for speech to speech translation uh, so that there's uh, you know speech recognition that occurs when the person's talking in let's say English and then uh, translation and then synthesis uh, into let's say German well all of that data on the translator side and the voice search side and Cortana side and all the other uh, speech applications feeds back into a, a single uh, recognizer that we use mm -hmm. across the board across for the whole company so I think one of the things that's a, is an advantage for us is that we have so many different, um, you know, scenarios and products that are out there that that feed back into this uh, speech recognition technology. You now, I know a lot of the folks uh, who are joining us online today probably have uh, either only heard of Cortana or only seen a snippet, and seeing and hearing is believing. So, let's say we jump into a little demo. Yeah, sure, I'd be happy to. Don't have a lot of time to show off the full features. I thought for a second I might be able to show off any. <laughs> right? So this is just my normal uh, Windows Phone 8.1. Right? It's a uh, Lumia icon. Um, I can get to Cortana one of two ways. I can come in through what we call a live tile, or I can actually just hit the search button here. As you can see here, I'm kind of greeted by Cortana. The spinning circle is kind of her personality and persona. Mm -hmm. And then peeking up through the bottom here, this is the information that the Cortana has for me. It's information that based on her knowledge of me, she's prepared for me in advance. So for instance, you see on the screen, you know, it's only, you know, 3 o'clock, 3.30, but, you know, Cortana's thinking like, well, this is probably, you know, around the time where, you know, Mike might be wanting to go home, right? Sure. And so uh, Larry's laughing because he knows I never go home uh -oh, at 3.30. Oh, he's been right? out but, for leaving uh, early, hasn't he? Yeah, that's <laughs> right. right. Um, but, uh, yeah, so, you know, actually it has my current location. It has a suggested traffic route, and it'll tell me it'll take, if I leave right now, um, 26 minutes in order to get home. And then if I scroll up, you can see other things that she's gotten for me. One thing that I do is I, uh, you know, here's some, you know, suggested places around here that I might want to go after work, maybe instead of going home. Some stocks I'm looking at, some news. I'm a fan of the San Francisco Giants. I actually use Cortana to track Cortana. And uh, this notion of the notebook, I, you know, we find that right here. Mm -hmm. It's like I can actually, if I want to tell Cortana something about, hey, I'm not interested in the San Francisco Giants anymore, or if I'm interested in another team or another thing, I can actually go into the interests look over the information that she actually has on me, right, and make some adjustments. So you can see here she's tracking some, you know, flights that I'm going to be on soon, right? There's wow. some, you know, stocks that I'm interested in. Uh, she knows I'm interested in eating and drinking and the best nearby, right? So that's kind of like the uh, Cortana and the notebook and how she keeps mm -hmm. track of my interests. And, of course, you can also sp speak to her. Yeah. You know, one of the can things... Can we hear that, her? Yeah, sure. I think... Uh, you know, just in general, the way we attach the kind of like, or the way we attack the kind of uh, speech part is that, you know, the primary thing that we really wanted to enable Cortana to do, like a real assistant, is to help you get through your day. Mm -hmm. You know, so putting things on your calendar, knowing where you have to be, reminding you to do things. So I can actually use Cortana to set, you know, uh, person, time, or place based reminders, right? So going through the same entry point, I can say, remind me to call my mom when I get home. Mind you to call my mom when you get home. So here you can see Sound the... good? Yes. Got it. So Cortana actually knows where I live, right? She knows that my home is this particular, you know, kind of like what we call a geofence, right? That reminder will trigger when I actually pull into my driveway. Right? Wow. And I get a nice really? reminder on my phone that says, call my mom. Um, wow. We've also built Cortana on top of Bing, so I can answer just, you know, questions that you would expect of a search engine. All right, so... What's the weather this weekend in Paris? On Saturday in Paris, there will be cloudy skies with a high of 80. And on Sunday, there will be mostly sunny skies with a high of 72. So what I like about that particular example is like, you know, rather than just getting, you know, 10 blue links or getting even yeah, just a, right. you know, five-day forecast, she what actually knew that I was asking for, you know, the weather this weekend and she gave me that exact answer. There's a lot of meteorologists who are not happy about that. Yeah, that's right. I just started sweating. Yeah, and uh, then back to what we're doing differently, I'll just show one more thing. It's like, you know, one thing that we really wanted to do with Cortana, and it sounds like kind of fun and games, but we actually think there's a serious reason behind it, is we really did think it was important to imbue her with a very engaging and specific personality, mm -hmm. right? So one of the things you can actually do with Cortana is you can ask her anything, right? right? And we're continuously kind of like evolving her personality and updating this stuff, right? So that we, we feel like it serves two purposes. One is it helps connect the user to, you know, kind of their assistant and helps them mm -hmm. build a relationship around trust. And it's also just entertaining and fun. Well, right? and the fact of the matter is, is Cortana is a real person, right? 
She's not a real person, and most people don't think she's a real person, right? right? I think, but there's a yeah. real voice behind it. There is a real ver- yeah. voice behind it. So let me just—I'll demo it, and then we'll talk about the voice. Yeah. Right. So, do you sleep? I never sleep. Sleep is for ambulatory carbon-based beings. So uh, very honest answer. Yeah, we get uh, we yeah. get answers like that. So the voice that we actually have is uh, so that audio actually comes from the cloud, right? It's part of our mm-hmm. service that powers Cortana. And the, uh, the voice actress that we asked to record that is actually the same actress that records the character Cortana in Halo, Halo which yeah, is Jen sure. Taylor. Yeah. yeah. So I, I'm lucky enough to live in the Seattle area where Jen lives, and I've worked with her before. So any day now, maybe a year from now, when Cortana's in everybody's pocket, it's going to be the greatest thing to say, hey, I know her. She's yeah, a local gem. Yeah, yeah, that's yeah. right. She's a that's local cool. gem. Yeah. Guys, this is yeah. great stuff. Thank you so much for popping by and showing us what you're up to. This is very exciting. Sure. You're appreciate welcome. it. Yeah.